it's Jam, Mrs. Faith and Anafi here, and I hope you guys are having a wonderful 4th of July. So, we're going to dive into our Kitsch Jam lesson. So, we've been talking about the fruits of the spirit, so we're going to go over them. Our first week we talked about love, last week we talked about joy, and this week we're going to be talking about peace, having peace in our lives. So we're going to do two songs, and then we're going to do our lesson, and I heard... Miss Jenny loved doing the lesson so much that she came back and she wants to do it again. So I'm going to let her teach the lesson. So let's dive into worship. So let's stand up, make sure you have some room, make sure you have some space, and we're going to dive into our worship songs. second song.
Kids Jam. Now we're going to do story time with Jenny. Hi, kids. So, Miss Faith told me that we were learning about peace. And I was thinking long and hard, and I know God gives us peace through Jesus, but there's another story that we don't always talk about. I'm going to be talking about Jacob and Esau. They were two brothers, twins. Esau was born first, then his other brother was born right after. Jacob. So... When you were born first back in those days, when your father died, you become the leader of everything. You get the better crops, you get the better everything. And your brother gets, you know, whatever's left. So, we're going to be diving into what happened to them and why they didn't have peace and why... They did have peace at the end. So, if you want to follow along, we are going to be in Genesis 27. Let's dive right in. So, Isaac was going to bless Esau. So, he told Esau to go and prepare a meal and bring it to me. Well, when Isaac's wife heard that, she wanted Jacob to get the blessing. And so she told Jacob to kill a lamb and to prepare it for his father. Now, at the time, Isaac was blind, so he couldn't tell which twin was which unless he touched them. Because Esau was very hairy, he had a lot of hair, like I do. So Jacob told his mother, Mom, he would know what who I am. And she said, don't worry about it. We'll figure it out. So that's what he did. He went, grabbed the lamb, prepared it, and brought it to his mother. Well, his mother took the fur of the lamb and put it on him and had him talk to Isaac, his father. So Isaac went in. And Jacob was talking to him, and he thought that he was talking to Esau. And so Isaac blessed Jacob, even though it was supposed to be for Esau. When Esau finally showed up, he realized what had happened and was super angry. So Jacob that night ran away. And for the longest time, they weren't close you know he was hiding because he didn't want his brother to be super mad at him or do something very mean like hurt him so he waited years and years and years and years and years till one day he heard that his father had passed away so Jacob and his kids and his wives went back to the land that he used to live while going back, he was very worried about Esau. But God told him the night before, I will give you peace. Do not worry. So the next day, Jacob went and he saw Esau. And he thought that Esau was going to be so mad and start yelling and screaming at him. But when Esau saw him, he ran to him and gave him a hug and kissed him on the cheek. Because... No matter what, he had peace. Even though Esau knew that Jacob did something bad to him, he forgave him and gave him the peace. So they forgave each other and they loved each other and they helped bury their father. So, I know that was a lot, but the moral of the story is, no matter what, whether it's your brother your mother, your father, anyone. In any situation, God will give you peace. Even when it feels like you don't 
deserve peace or they don't deserve peace. God is the judge of all. So let's pray. Dear Lord, help us to have peace. God is with your love. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Alright kids, I'll see you soon. Bye.